Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the text page feature. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to your app's overview page. Next under the edit test and go live section click on edit. Now to add the text page feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search text page. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section, where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's see what all you can do with the newly added text page feature. Click the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Enter the content title in the heading field. Next, add the content in the paragraph field which provides an option for controlling the appearance of your text using the rich text editor. Please note, you can check all the changes in real time in the interactive simulator on the right side of the screen. From here, you can add images and videos to your content. You can upload images and videos or add YouTube URL, Vimo URL, or custom video URL, depending on your choice. Once you added the content, you can enable the enable share toggle to let your users share the information with their friends and family. You also have the option to add multiple paragraphs or listings. To do so, click the add new paragraph button here and this will open a new paragraph where you can add the content and add images or videos to it. Now once you added the listings or paragraphs, you can change the list and display order. Enable the display listing in reverse order toggle here to view the listings in reverse order. You can view the changes in real time in the simulator here. Once you are done with the content section, you can start changing the layout and color scheme of the text page feature. Click on this color palette icon here to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the given options. From here, you can set the page elements, color, font size, and indent. You can even hide the borders by enabling this toggle here. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the same menu. Then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Just to inform you, you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note, you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done with the customization, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.